Hi everyone, it's Grizz and today I'm bringing you uh, the first in the series of the Ducati 916 restoration build series kind of going back to standard-ish. Um, I say standard-ish, it's never going to be completely standard. Well maybe it will, maybe it will with time, but at the moment there's actually too many jobs on this bike that need doing to return it back completely back to standard. Um, things like the frame need doing, the wheels need sorting, um, yeah, every, all the colours are wrong on it basically at the moment. Talking of colours, let's take a look and see what it used to look like when it was in those lovely Red Bull colours. Yes, I did love it. Anyway, let's take, it, take you over to a pre-recorded clip which I recorded back a couple of months ago. Let's have a look. Okay, so here it is in all its beauty. Yes, it was a lovely beast in blue, I must say. I really did enjoy it in the blue. Um, but as you will see, as I take you up to some closer shots of it here, I'm sorry for talking over the lovely sounds and vibes of this 916. Let me wait till I go in a bit closer. Okay, so first of all, here we go. There is a crack there, right on the red ball, right in the middle. I think there was a couple of cracks on the front fairing. This was a very bad break going all the way through the panel. Um, some other little cracks going on, some dents, more cracks. And yeah, someone had decided to put some kind of sticker tape on it and paint it. It was just really bad in places, guys. Um, yeah, the panel was, had been another crack in the panel there. Um, on the camera it always looks so good from a distance but when you got up close you could start seeing the flaws. There was a dent in the tank as well um, and that carbon fibre kind of tank protector was just way past its best. Um, the tail, I don't think I really showed much on the tail but there were a few little cracks. It would have been nice to actually have got all those panels off and rubbed them down. I would have loved to have actually done it and do all the work myself. Um, I have done it in the past, uh, but it was just not really practical. I did it in the middle of summer, out in my back garden, painting an old fire blade matte black, and it looked good, it looked really good. I also, also originally painted the Punisher, Punisher uh, bodywork. That looked great, again, in matte black, um, but to, to get this level of finish that I, I wanted, um, just is not possible in my garage during the winter. The bikes would get filthy, it would just be a mess and I wouldn't be happy with the finish. So, I luckily work at a car dealership and they have a body shop and they agreed to paint it for me. Um, now, I think you will agree, I'll show you shortly. I'll show you some more of the other clips of the preparation of the bodywork. Um, but I think you'll agree the end result was really worth it. So um, let me take you now on to when I have taken all the bodywork uh, body parts into work and they had started rubbing down uh, a couple of the panels. Some of you would have seen this clip before, but some of you won't, but I'm gonna play you it again. So let's go over to the short little clip. It's only short, bear with me. Basically they sanded it down, there's blue, there's yellow, and underneath all of that is actually red. Um, I did scrape it down through the different colors. What you can actually see, let me just take it back. Right, if you look now um, at this part on the right hand panel, you will see that there was quite a big crack, a sizable crack on that, um, that panel, and that had been repaired um, and sanded down. And the end result of that repair was actually really quite amazing. They sanded those down, uh, it looked a bit frightening at that time, there was loads of material built up on the repair area, I wasn't sure if they were going to be able to good, do a good job of it, but they actually have, we'll show you those in a moment, <laughs> but let me actually show you now, it'll give you more of an idea. Um, some of these clips are filmed, or most of them are filmed on my, my phone, I've actually bought a new camera, which I'm filming on now, it's going to be in 1080p, um, I am in the throes of actually trying to upgrade all my editing software and my um, hardware cameras and stuff. So bear with me, quality of this, I'm not sure how good it's going to be. So let me take you now over to another clip 
of when they had finished rubbing everything down, they had painted everything, it had all of its coat of paint, and then we needed to um, still put the stickers on. But let me show you this clip, let me show you. Let's have a look. Oh, 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 oh. ready for this, ready? Wait, 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 here we go. Oh my God, look at this. Look at it all. So much redness. Wow. Wow. And look, guys, this one was damaged and you wouldn't even know it. So flipping good. Super excited. Just got to uh, get all the stickers on it now. Uh, they've left some bits like this because basically it's it'll cost a lot more money, but we can sort this out and get this uh, middle fuel cap area sorted out. But on from that, just got to get the stickers on it and it'll get its final finish. But we're getting there. Looks amazing. So at this point, I was absolutely in love with it. Uh, still am absolutely in love with it. Um, and the, the damage that was all there beforehand is just completely gone. There was nothing there. I did have a chat with them and asked them to uh, paint in that fuel cap, which they have. I'll show you that in a mo. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. Uh, then we went on to, or they went on to, <laughs> sanding all the panels down, taking that top layer off and matting it back basically, and then laying up all the stickers. Right, so here we go. It looks a bit funny. It looks like there's some little dots on it, but that is literally just water. We have, we have both me and the, the guy in the body shop have just put stop uh, spraying water on them and um, applying those stickers. But I think really it's, it's a flipping good job. Um, these stickers I bought on eBay and is as good as I could get to the original colors i think it's a good match doesn't look so good the colors of the actual fairing in this picture but um yeah so there they are so it was all sanded down the stickers are on and the next process was getting the lacquer on um they're all lacquered up they're all sprayed up and they're ready to go on the bike. I do need to do some things before I can put it all back together. But let me give you a quick look and show you how good these bad boys look now. It is really actually quite amazing. Let's have a look. Right, what can I show you first? Let me show you um, the seat. Let me show you the seat. Here is the seat. I'm not sure how well this is gonna focus this camera or how good the colors are gonna be. Yeah, I'm not sure how good this is doing. This is uh, recording uh, from a focus standpoint because I think it's meant to focus on me. I will give you some more, but the, there's just no damage on it, guys. It just looks so good now, so flipping good. It looks like new, it really does. Can't impress it upon you enough. So there's the seat, and this was the worst panel, all right? <laughs> and you just wouldn't know that that was damaged. Um, hopefully this is focusing for you guys. But really happy with these. And yeah, you just wouldn't know that that was damaged. Absolutely amazing. I've also got the front mud guard. I bought another mud guard. Still got the carbon fiber one on there, but I've got a red one. Or I've got, got one all sprayed up the same colors. It looks kind of orange on this screen, but it is very red. Uh, the paint color used was uh, Rosso Anniversary. I think it's something like 473.101. I'm pretty sure that is correct, but spot on. It is just so beautiful. You need to see this bike in the flesh to appreciate it. I will try color adjust the camera but it, this is just so good, so good guys, so, so good. Um, what else have we got here? Let me show you. Here's another one. This one had a lot of the, the damage on the side here. There's just nothing there now. It's just looks like new. There was cracks in the panel, gauges and gouges, and 
there's still some like missing bits here it, with foresight it would have been good really to have got <laughs> those bits done but it's an original panel um, and I didn't want to mess around with it too much I think I would have actually I'm lying a bit but yeah it, it, it's original 1996 original Ducati 916 panel in the original colors and I love it very much let me show you the the headlight um, nose cone fairing front fairing boom so good hope this is focusing okay but so so good guys it's going to be so nice when it's on the bike I really can't wait I've actually got to take this one in because look look what I've done sorry but I wasn't going to point this out but it didn't paint the ends <laughs> they kind of managed to get a bit of something I don't know how well this is showing Can you see this on here this needs some touch up paint they missed that edge but on from that is actually absolutely bloody great absolutely loving it so there's one thing I've not shown you it's the flipping tank let's have a look at the tank Ooh. so here is the tank this probably doesn't really do this tank justice this this video footage see how they painted up on the inside here i just hope all of this is in focus for you guys apologies if not i'm just getting used to this camera and uh yeah so here she is here she stands waiting for some attention um all the bikes are waiting for attention at the moment but there are things I need to do before I can get this back together. I would like to lose all the blue bits. Yeah, blue anodized kind of nuts and bolts everywhere. Can you see all these? I need to change all these. I need to um, get them all off and put, them, put some kind of standard ones on. Plus I need a full fairing kit. I need all the screws to go around the fairing. And also I want to change the blue fork clamps to back to some standard color sorry again apologies if this is not focusing in let me just have a look and see if i can focus this in there a bit more who's that looking that's a bit better so yeah um really happy with it really liking it i really really want to get this bike back together i really want to get see it all together with this lovely blue uh red ooh, red fairings i really can't wait to see it all together um but need to lose all these blue nuts and bolts and like i said on from that i actually need to sort out the um front end because the front end is actually set on track so it makes all the weight set onto the front it turns in really really quick and I love it but um, I've said to Taffy I'm gonna treat her and she can ride the 916 as well so I'm gonna turn the steering so it's less aggressive for road use it will transform the bike it will make it such a more friendlier bike to ride even for me um, and the back end needs to be lowered slightly as well ever since I've put the Dymag on the back um, that has also kicked the back end up a little bit higher again um, because they've got a taller tire on it. Um, so I'm gonna reduce the ride height on the rear and get things just a little bit more kind of sensible settings on the bike, but super excited for it. Anyway, I hope you approve of the 916 panels. I love them. I think it's a beautiful job. I get my fingerprints and Ronnie's hair is all over them. Um, but they're being, they're being put away, stored out of harm's way at the moment. And um, yeah, super excited to see it together. So tune in again and join me when I bring another installment of the 916 Restoration Back to Standard-ish series. It's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care, cheers, bye.